Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Um, today is actually technically my Monday. Um, we had holiday on Monday, celebrating Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And then yesterday we had a virtual day because it was already set for students to have a virtual day yesterday. But they made it staff and student virtual day yesterday because we have a lot of teachers out in the district with COVID. So just to kind of distance everybody and let all the schools get deep cleaned, they made the decision to let yesterday be a virtual day for the whole district staff and students. Anyways, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Um, for those of you that are new here, my name is Kayla and I teach fifth grade science and social studies in the great state of Georgia. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about virtual work and what I do for virtual work. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that intro and then I'll catch back up with you guys later. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys my Canvas course and what it looks like when I assign virtual work for students to do at home when either we have virtual days or um, I'm gonna show you guys this too, whenever we have students in quarantine that need to have virtual assignments at home. So if your district uses Canvas just like my district does, then this video is gonna be extremely helpful for you and maybe you'll get some really good ideas. But I am gonna do some screen grabs today and some screen shares and so that way I can actually show you what my Canvas page looks like and what my virtual work looks like as well. So let's go ahead and get on the computer. All right, so here's what my Canvas page looks like. Um, and those of you that are your camp, your district uses Canvas, you should be pretty familiar with this, but I'm going to go ahead. I've got two courses. Um, I have my homeroom course, which is where I always link reading work. And then I have my science and social studies course for science and social studies as well. I'm going to go ahead and start with reading and show you what I do for reading. Um, so I here, this is my homepage on Canvas. And I have two different um, virtual things for them to do. As you can see, I wrote the date wrong on this one. This one is for actual scheduled virtual days. And this one, the second one is for students that are quarantined at home. I do not currently have any students in my homeroom quarantined, so that is a good thing. So as you can see, I have linked here um, their virtual work for yesterday. And what I do for reading is I make a page um, and I just link it there. And you can see I have given directions for them to do. I try to make it as specific as possible because there's always going to be that one kid that says, I didn't know what to do. And so I don't really want to give them an excuse not to be able to do their work. Um, I usually for reading on virtual days, I leave a ReadWorks passage and I will always leave a link as well um, and tell them how to sign in. And I will always tell them what passage that they are reading and they know to go on, read the passage and answer the questions as well. That's basically it that I leave for reading. They do have their spelling contract that they need to work on as well. And I want to do a video in the near future about spelling contracts. But that's usually all that I leave for reading. Very simple. So I'm actually going to go back to courses and I'm going to click on my science and social studies course. So here's my science and social studies course. It is structured very similarly to my homeroom course. I have scheduled virtual days and then quarantine down here at the bottom. Now for science and social studies, instead of doing pages, I create modules. It makes it a little bit easier so students can read what they need to do and then just click next. So I'll go ahead and show you what I left for yesterday. Um, so I do always leave a to-do list at the very beginning of the module and then I link their daily sites and the lesson for the day and also just to stop so they know that they're done. Um, but in the to-do list, um, I literally try to give, again, be as detailed as possible and let them know what they are expected to do. So they know to read this and then click next. And then they will have their daily science that they know to complete. 
and then they have um, their introduction, their little mini lesson statement about what they're going to learn. And then it goes through and there's anchor charts, there's videos, and then to the end of this, there's a quiz. Um, I always try to leave something simple for them to do for science uh, on virtual days because I know that they have a lot of assignments to do in their other classes as well. And I don't want them to have to spend their entire day working or spend hours and hours and hours getting work done. So I try to keep mine very simple and to the point. Uh, but I always try to leave some type of quiz for them to do. Um, and again, that's just in modules. So that's what I normally do for virtual days that are already scheduled and built into place. Now, I'm going to click back into home. For students that are in quarantine, however, this is where I li link their work. And I also do it in modules as well. Um, but they know that they can just go on and click on the day of the week and get to their work. Um, like for today, um, they just, there's daily science generation genius video and just like before click next with daily science and then their generation genius video and then i always have this at the end just so that they know that they are done with my lesson and they can move on to the very next lesson so that's pretty much it it's very simple i keep it simple for kids um and i also leave past work uh, linked just because in case um, and I also do have some students that are still working on this as well as soon as all students are finished with the assignment I will delete it not the assignment but I will delete the link um, and I did want to show you just real quick what my canvas page looks like as well so that's where I leave my virtual work and then I have these four buttons that I use every single day where I link their daily science their Nearpod their quiz and other links is usually where I link a book it I also have virtual word walls that I have linked here. I still need to um, put up my social studies word wall as well as common link, common places that we usually go that we use as well as a link for their grades, ways to contact me, class expectations and so on. And then just some fun links at the bottom as well. But that's what my canvas looks like. Um, I hope this made sense to you guys. I hope you got something out of it. And again, if you got questions, just drop them in the comments below. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, you saw a little bit about what I do on virtual days and how I structure it on Canvas. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And you guys know what to do. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and click that like button. You'll also click subscribe as well. And don't forget to ring that bell. I'm going to head out. I'm ready to go home. It's been a long day. So I'll catch you next time. Mischief Managed.